Out of every single application category, I think the apps that a lot of us find the most useful are those that fall under the productivity section. I mean, who doesn't love an app that helps us to get things done? And so after showcasing close to a thousand different applications on my channel across the past seven or so years, I thought it'd be fun to put together a list of some of my all time favorite productivity based applications. But I didn't want to bore you with the super obvious options like Google Docs or Microsoft PowerPoint. And so with the apps I've included in today's video, I'm willing to bet that there's at least one that you haven't heard of. And so with that being said, let's get into it. All right, starting off the list today is TwoBird. And at its heart, this is an email application, but it's actually so much more than just emails. So TwoBird takes a unique approach to emails by treating your inbox as a to-do list with additional tools that will help you to get things done throughout your day. You can use the app to take notes, you can use it to set reminders, and you can also use it to create to-do lists. And all of these actions happen directly within your inbox, which is pretty neat. It also has a really clean and minimal UI, which I love. So if you're someone looking to take your emails to the next level, then TwoBird is definitely worth a look. Second up is Routinery, a self-care and routine application with an incredibly beautiful design. The idea with Routinery is to set up routines and then fill these routines with activities. For example, you might create a morning routine, which includes drinking water, making the bed, eating breakfast and so forth. Then you set a time for that routine to commence and then the app will send you a gentle reminder at that time so you remember to start the routine. The app will then break each task into short time intervals, which you can check off as you complete them. And aside from the functionality, like I said, the design is just super elegant and a visual treat to look at. Speaking of apps with great designs, War To Do is a to-do list and schedule application that has a really cool approach to its UI and design. So rather than a traditional list design, when you set up tasks with War To Do, they will instead appear as bubbles. And then whenever you've completed them, you just double tap them to pop them. It's actually really satisfying with neat animations and sound effects to go with. Plus the app of course, also offers every other feature you'd want out of a reminders application. All right, after that is Lock Screen Calendar, which as the name indicates, will take an agenda based calendar and put it on your lock screen. This means you'll always be able to see what to-do list items you have coming up in your schedule straight from your phone's lock screen, which is super efficient and pretty much means you'll never forget to complete a task. You can also then create new tasks from the lock screen or mark tasks as complete as well. Plus there are some customizations you can make within the app settings to make the calendar look how you want it to. And so for me, this is the sort of app you want to use if you just absolutely need to get things done. But for those who want to see their calendar quite often, but perhaps the lock screen is taking it just that little bit too far, then every day might be a solid alternative. This app is all about widgets and there are three widget options to select from, an agenda view, a month view and a today view. But all of these options will give you a really nice compact interface filled with upcoming events from your calendar. But what's even more impressive about this app is that if you don't like how it looks straight out of the box, then you can customize virtually every single aspect of the widgets, including every little individual color component, what events are shown and not shown, font scaling, corner radius, plus a heap more. Definitely one of the best options if you're looking for a calendar widget. All right, now before we get onto the next app, I just wanna take a quick moment to thank today's video sponsor, The Ridge Wallet. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've always been on a journey to finding the most minimal and sleek wallet I could possibly find. And when my wife gifted me this one a few years back, I thought I'd pretty much achieved it. But then I got this wallet. This is the titanium wallet in matte cobalt from the Ridge. And holy heck, not only is this thing super minimal and compact, but it's also got this super premium design that feels incredible. It actually fits up to 12 cards, plus there's additional room for cash on top of that. And whilst this matte cobalt one is super attractive, they've also got over 30 different colors and styles available to choose from on their website, which is incredible. On top of all of that, Every Ridge wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. Plus, if you visit the first link down in the description and use the code Sam Beckman at checkout, you can get 15% off, which is amazing. 
Okay, from there we have anything to picture in picture. And as the name so helpfully indicates, this is an app that will let you view any content stored on your phone in that little picture in picture window. You either select an image or video from within the app or select the show in picture in picture option via your system share sheet. And from there, your selected media will start showing in this little picture in picture window. It actually uses your system picture in picture functionality, which means you can then move the window around and resize it if need be. And this makes it a really great option for multitasking and therefore leveling up your productivity. I've also actually noticed that at the time of making this video, the app actually isn't available to download from the Google Play Store. So if it's still not available at the time of publication, I'll leave an alternative link down below. All right, we're seven apps in and somehow I haven't yet mentioned perhaps the most popular style of productivity app, note taking. And so to fix that, I present perhaps the best note taking app for maximum productivity, Otter Voice Notes. And the reason for this is that you don't actually need to type out your notes because the app instead utilizes voice transcripts. And then as well as creating the notes using your voice, the app will also store your recordings as files that you can listen back to. And you can even search through each recording to find specific moments, which is amazing. The voice transcription also works really well. And so for me, this is the perfect app for taking notes during those times you probably need to remain focused. But if you want a more traditional note taking application, then my personal pick is NoteSnork. Not only is it a beautifully designed application with stacks of features to really maximize your note taking, but it also features online syncing support, which is a must have feature for me. I actually use this app pretty much every single day. And so as a result, if you're looking for a new note taking application, then this is one that I can highly recommend. Second to last is eLabels, and this is a simple yet powerful application that will help to keep your inbox organized. So this app is kind of like an extension of the Gmail app labels functionality, and so accordingly, it only works with Gmail accounts, but once you've linked your account, you'll be able to see all of your existing email labels on the app's home screen. Under each label, you'll find a counter to keep a track of how many emails live within any given label. But then from there, you can tap the app label icons to edit their names or to change the text or background color. And this makes it really easy to keep your labels clean and organized. And if you upgrade to the premium version, there's even an unread counter widget that you can add to your home screen. So you can see how many emails are unread on a label by label basis. Pretty cool. And so finally today, we have an application and service I use nearly every single day, Snapdrop. If you've never heard of Snapdrop before, it's basically like AirDrop, but for any device. And what makes it such a great option is that it just requires a web browser to work. Or if you've got an Android phone, then you can also download the app as well for an even more seamless experience. But regardless of whether you're using the app or just a web browser, the great part is that there's no account required, no clunky setup process. You just open it up and you'll see any devices in the near vicinity also using Snapdrop instantly. Then on either device, you select a file and within mere moments, it will open up on the other device. In my experience, it genuinely feels nearly as seamless as AirDrop, but again, it works with any device, Android, iOS, Mac, Windows, you name it. As far as being productive when it comes to file sharing, there's really not a better solution. And the fact that it's both free and open source just makes it even better. But there you go. Those are 10 of the very best applications that will help to level up your productivity here in 2022. If you enjoyed this video, then a sub would be greatly appreciated. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you to the Ridge Wallets for supporting the channel and I will catch you later.